<laughs> the lighting isn't the greatest in this room because I'm using a amber bulb, but uh, you get the gist of it here. Like right here, his his head don't move anymore. I can't I can't turn it, as you can see. Uh oh. Oh boy. It's really scary <laughs> to move this guy around, you know. Um, cause I'm afraid of him taking a tumble here. And he, so he's, uh, he's fragile. I feel like, simply because he's made out of latex, and as you know, latex does break down over time. One second, let me, let me get his mouth propped open here. Get a nice look here. And the, oh. That actually, uh, oh, okay. I think he's okay. So that's with his mouth open. And the tongue. This is what he looks like from profile view. I need to get studio lights. His torso does move. Let me see if I can... So right now it looks like this. I think it's... One second. You just put that... I do all my work here, by the way, so messy. Lots of paint everywhere. Yeah, his torso moves. His torso moves. Let's see if I can... Oh! Let's see if I can, um... As you can see, his torso is now crunched. Gotta be careful with these guys. He looks pretty good and he still stands. His toes move. His, obviously his hips move. His knee moves. Um, his forearms move, fingers. Uh, his neck. His head used to be able to uh, twist or rather bend as well but that's long since stopped working his tail is also um, incredibly flexible uh, all armature wire and um, just a little bit more about this guy here and I know it's a poor representation of the actual coloration of him because of the amber light he is a swampy green with uh, reds and oranges and uh, very, very awesomely done uh, patterning um, all throughout. Especially, I, my favorite part is the, the paint on his face and his mouth. So uh, basically, I I gave him a, a reference for the uh, markings and color scheme, and voila, he uh, put this together. Uh, showed me progress shots uh, all throughout the process. This 
head here, I can't help but see like a uh, Saurian. Um, if you're wondering what that is, uh, it is the T-Rex from Primal Rage. Uh, I think his teeth and the skeleton underneath him is made out of resin, I could be wrong. But the majority of them is outside of the armature wiring uh, is latex foam rubber. He moves incredibly well. Now he did take quite a few tumbles throughout the, its life and unfortunately through moving uh, from house to house his poor little, like I said, his poor little head just doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna try and get uh, Allen wrenches to uh, try and tighten these areas. Uh, there's excess points in his the top of his head and his ear. The ear, I believe, yeah, is for the jaw tightening, and then the head, obviously, for the head. And if I really hope it's just the case that his you know, his, uh, screwing, or <coughs> whatever it is, uh, just became loose over time. But he is absolutely gorgeous. I'd say he is about, he is roughly about a one, one eighteenth scale T-Rex. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, the Jurassic Park franchise T-Rexes are, uh, one sixteenth scale. So he's a little bit on the small side, uh, compared to some of the T-Rexes I have. But, at the same time, obviously, as you can see here, still very sizable. And he's at least over a foot long. He's much longer than a foot long from head to tail when he's straightened out. So, yeah. Very, very uh, good artist who uh, made puppets for uh, the new Pinocchio movie. And I definitely recommend him. Uh, he's, he's awesome. Bye-bye.